Hey everybody, it's me, Casey. I am coming to you today with my very first new catalog haul. I'm so excited. I got some really great stuff. My friends got some really great stuff. Um, so I'm gonna just dive in. So first thing, cotton cleanups. These do not happen to be for me, but they are worth every single penny. I love, love, love these. I will not be without them. I was just checking, I do have one and a backup, so I think I'll be okay, but probably I'll put another one in my next order. Um, cotton cleanups are these little cotton swabs. They have um, little handles that you push down and you stick this in your warmer and it sucks up all the wax and then you just throw it in the trash. And um, I, I love, love, love them. So that's every penny in my book. Um, ooh, I was so excited about this. So I gather that this um, existed before Luna Scentsy Soak, but um, when I started Scentsy Soak, it did not exist and I am dying to try it. I do have right now, <laughs> in my bathtub, I have um, aloe water and cucumber from the Whiff Box last month. I have um, Best Berry, the one from the Valentine's collection. I have Winterberry Apple Tea and I have sea salt and avocado, which is no longer available. So I have four going, um, having just finished um, Blue Grotto and um, Snow Kissed Cranberry. So um, I don't know when I'll get to this, but um, I will. And then I also got Hibiscus Pineapple Scentsy Soak. This is brand new and I love, love, love the packaging. Look, look pineapple and all those palm fronds and little parrots and oranges and beautiful flowers. I mean, it is gorgeous. And even on the back, like see how it has like little hibiscus flowers, pineapples, love. So um, I have two um, and if that's not enough, um, there are plenty more to choose from in the catalog. Let me tell you, I have um, like a list of what I must have. Um, so they have aloe water and cucumber, which like I said, I have going, but they also have cozy cardigan, go, go mango, hibiscus, pineapple is new. Luna is new. I have, um, I have tried now and Zen and it's amazing. Excellent. Definitely recommend, um, pineapple, coconut, vanilla. I have not yet tried pink cotton. I have not yet tried prickly pear and agave. I have tried and I love, love, um, shimmer. I have not tried. And then they have watermelon tangerine, which is brand new. So I still have several on my list to try. Um, but Scentsy soaks are great. Let me just tell you, I'm a bath girl. Scentsy soaks make me so happy. They just smell great. They last forever. They're two pounds. I love them. Love them. Um, okay. These are things Casey got, uh, for like being, um, a, con a Scentsy consultant, like you can shop in the consultant store. And, um, so I got these cute little Scentsy markers. They say Scentsy. And I am like, um, a fiend for thing, like writing utensils. I just love a, like a good pen. I love things like, so whatever, I got those. And then I got all of the scent stickers, look, for the new stuff. So I got tangerine cream stickle, vanilla waves, um, coral waters, make a splash, mad for melon, oh snapdragon, coastal sunset, sun soaked petals, sand swept, and magnolia linen. And the purpose of me getting these, I have a bag that I like pass around amongst like my neighborhood friends and stuff, but I want people to be able to like smell the new scents and um, it's hard to like get, get to everybody. So I want everybody to get a chance to smell them and I know people are super interested. So I got a sticker, I got stickers for each of them and I'm gonna put them um, on little cards that I got and send them out or leave them with orders so that people can like actually check them out. So I'm really excited by that. Um, a friend of mine got three um, 25 watt light bulbs. Um, obviously you always need that stuff. I got this lavender cotton Scentsy Fresh. I really want to try this. Did I, get, I thought I got pink cotton too maybe, but whatever. I'm really excited to try this. I really wanted to try lavender cotton Scentsy Fresh. I, I'm really interested in it. So there's that. Um, I got 
um, a friend got jammy time pods and oh, for those of you that don't know what pods are, they're these and they have like little beads in them, scented beads. So there's no wax mess. Um, they're really nice for like next to your computer. They have like little mini fan diffusers. You can plug into your USB on your computer and then just like use them when you're working. And my job is super stressful. I'm going to give you a little sneak into my life. So I work for child protective services and I've worked there almost 20 years and, um, it's a hard job <laughs> and I get stressed. Um, and so something like this, just like a nice relaxing scent is sometimes everything that I need. So, um, there's those. And then, um, another friend of mine got the best berry pods and I thought these would be great in pods. Oh, and they are, Oh, these are even better than the wax in my opinion. So there you go. Um, and then I have a friend that's like way obsessed with um, car bars. So she got iridescent pearl. I think she got two of those. She got sheer leather, which I love. And then she got two bonfire beach just released um, or released for the season. And hi another friend got hibiscus pineapple for something I'm about to show you. I'm really excited about it. Like that. And then I also got Scentsy Scrubs to match my um, Scentsy Soak. I got a Luna. Luna. And I got a Hibiscus Pineapple. So I'm really liking the scrubs. Um, there's no way I can use them as fast as I have them. I have these. I have the Best Berry. And then I think I have six from when they were in the clearance. So I have like three Butter Pecan and three maybe winterberry apple tea. I don't know what the other one is. Um, but I'm still working on my perfect peppermint. So it's going to be a while. I don't feel like I need to exfoliate every day. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, then we got some oils. So I think three are mine and three for, are for a friend. So I, I think we got mostly identical things. Okay, so she got Cucumber Mojito. I won't open hers. She got Sweet Eucalyptus Lime. And she got Candied Violet Plum. Can you see that? I don't know. It probably doesn't show very well. But I also got Sweet Eucalyptus Lime. Oh, man. This one smells really good. This smells mostly like lime, but like a sweet lime. Oh, I'm gonna put that in first, I think. Wow, that one's really good and like really pungent. It's like cocoa lime a lot. It's a lot like cocoa lime, the, the wax. And then this one I got is Candied Violet Plum. Oh. Okay, so it says Candied Violet Plum. Okay, to me, it smells like cucumber and celery. It's super, super, super green. It does not smell anything violet or plum at all. No, no, no. Mm -mm. It smells really green, like, like digging in your garden, green, cucumber and celery. For real. That's what it smells like. I don't know. I'll diffuse it. We'll see. And then I got watermelon and berries. Um, this is returning, but I haven't had it before, so. Oh, okay. I don't really smell berries. You know what I smell is watermelon rind, like the green part of watermelon and a little bit of the flesh, but mostly like, you know, when the watermelon gets to like the kind of from red to like white to green and you like, you take a bite and you're like, okay, there's no more red flesh on that. That's what it smells like to me is kind of the green part of watermelon, which is actually not off putting to me at all. Um, I think that one smells like, it doesn't smell like watermelon. It smells like watermelon rind, but it's still, I mean, I don't hate it. Um, okay. And then I have a friend that um, loves the soaps. So I am actually like, she's convinced me um, by how much she orders that I need this too. So hibiscus pineapple and two now in Zens. 
Um, I'm gonna open up this guy next, I think. So I have a friend that got Bailey the bunny and I'm so excited for Bailey the bunny. I did ask her and she said I could open it. Um, I know this is weird, but in the picture, Bailey the bunny looks so soft. I'm so excited just to feel her. Um, and like, look at the box. Um, it has like a beetroot, some carrots. It's got like cabbages. Um, and then she comes like all nestled in here. Oh, she is so soft. Oh my gosh. I love her. I love her. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Okay. Let's look at her. So she is very soft. She does. These are not printed ice. These are like plastic little glass, like not glass, but plastic little circles. So if you're worried about little ones, this one, these are plastic. The ears are like corduroy, which is so cute. Um, and they're long floppy ears and she's got corduroy on her feet right here. And then she's got corduroy here. And what is so cute, can you see like around the corduroy, how it kind of like outlines it with that soft stuff? It's got her scentsy foot. She's got her little patch on her booty and a little cotton tail. She's real cute. And then this is where the scent pack goes. You just unzip it and stick it right in there. And that's what they got this hibiscus pineapple for, um, which is gonna be like a great Bailey the Bunny scent. Um, so since he usually has a, bu a buddy that's like, like the, the buddy that they always have, you know, like the um, perpetual buddy, and that was Lenny the lamb for a while, and now we have Bailey, and I'm partial to Bailey, shh. I like this one, she's cute, she's real, real cute. So I will stick her back in here um, from a friend. Um, I know she's gonna love her, she's totally gonna love her, and I love, that you can see her big bunny. She's so cute. So, baby the bunny. And um, then I have a ton of wax. So, like, and when I say a ton, like, I for sure mean one. A ton. So, a lot of these, well, some of these, will be repeats. So, I'll only go through them once because um, we're already at 12 minutes. The first one is Just Breathe, and I'm hoping that's mine. I'm pretty sure I ordered it. Um, what's kind of interesting about um, Scentsy is like, I place an order, I'm like, I really want this stuff, and then when it comes, I'm like, I have no idea what I ordered. So I'm super excited. Just Breathe is eucalyptus, lemon, and mint. And so people say that this smells like Vicks, and it does not. That is not true. Like it smells like a little bit like a citronella candle. Um, it has definitely a mint note and a, like a nose clearing eucalyptus and a lemon. Um, I definitely get the lemon, but um, it almost smells like a citronella candle, but it's really lovely. I'm, I'm looking, I'm so looking forward to that one. I think I got this one too, Paradise Punch. My kids love this one. Um, Paradise Punch is not in the fruity. What are we putting Paradise Punch in? Oh, okay, they're putting it in citrus. Um, so this is Fruit Punch. It says, um, Indian orange, lemon juice, acai berries, and star fruit. No, this is just high C Fruit Punch. I mean, which is great, but that's what it is. Um, sun soap petals. I have not gotten to warm, but I'm excited to try. Oh, it smells so good. Um, it says daffodil petals, sunny current, and water mint. And again, I don't know what water mint is, but it definitely is floral and a little fruity, not necessarily tangy current, but just really, um, a nice bouquet of flowers. Um, we have a pink cotton. I have never tried this one. I'm wondering um, which person ordered this. Clean cotton, pink berries, and vanilla sugar. Okay, so this smells really light. And for a laundry scent, that's kind of weird. Okay, it smells a little strange to me. You know how... Okay, I'm just going to be real with you. You know how like when somebody throws up and it's kind of like that sickeningly sweet smell? 
almost like that. I don't know. It's kind of just sickeningly sweet, but like, like, like you're kind of cleaning up. Somebody's got sick and you're cleaning up after them with like a nice fluffy towel. I don't know. It doesn't, I'm not loving that, honestly. This I'm loving, Petal Pals, Petal Pals. Mm. Y'all, <laughs> it's roses and beautiful berries. Y'all, I love this. Like I, this is, this is super good. Black raspberry vanilla is a staple. I just rewarmed it and I love black raspberry vanilla. If you have not tried it, I would try it. It is super good. Um, it's definitely raspberries Hi, buggy. and, um, I'm not sure if it's really a vanilla note. What do you think? What's it, what's it called? Black raspberry vanilla. It smells like grape. It smells like grape. Okay. Is it, it orange? It's not. It's, it's for a Laura. Isn't it cute? I want one. I know. I want to pick one. I thought you wanted a letter board warmer. This one is called Inhale, Exhale. We're not done cleaning, but um, and when you do vacuuming, can we do, uh, do a challenge with that? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She wants to do one of those challenges where you, um, have you seen the commercials with the Hershey bars? And you break them up and you say, take a piece of chocolate if, and then you give them a question. And if they can answer yes to that, they get a piece of chocolate. That's what she wants to do. Inhale, mm -hmm. exhale. Um, so this one says salted citrus, calm, calming freesia, and solar woods. I get no woods at all. I feel, I smell zero woods. So to me, it mostly smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Um, freesia is a very, very sweet floral to me, but I don't, I don't pick it out as freesia. I don't know if it's mixed so much with that salted citrus note that it smells watermelony, but it doesn't smell like the notes to me. Vanilla Waves, I really enjoyed. Um, that one is sea salt, whipped vanilla, and sticky caramel. It is salty vanilla. It, um, it smells a little perfumey or like, um, like lotion-y, um, like vanilla lotion smell. Like it does, it does smell like that. Um, I don't get any caramel note, but it is gorgeous and it's a great performer. I would highly recommend that one. Is that another just breathe? Um, oh, I ordered this cause I never have had it. Perfectly pomegranate. But it's, I'm super excited to try it. It says pomegranate and sweet berry. And y'all, it smells really amazing. Like it, I think they have it in the bricks that you can get in your Scentsy Club. And I've been thinking about getting a brick, but I don't, oh, I don't want to get a brick of something I don't love. So I'm for sure going to warm this, but it smells beautiful. Really, it's like super sugary berries. But the berries are like, like kind of interesting berries. They don't smell like necessarily raspberry or pomegranate or anything like that. It kind of smells like, what is the one from um, the winter that has like Logan berry? That's like just really an interesting berry. But it definitely is just like a very, very, very sweet, like drink kind of um, berry note, but it smells really good. I'm excited. Um, somebody got baked apple pie. I know that wasn't me because I have a brick. Oh, it's good. So baked apple pie is heavy cinnamon and apples and a pie crust note, like a butter pie crust note. It is an amazing performer. It is really super good. Another paradise punch. I told you there were going to be some. Oh, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, this is apples like red. Macintosh apples is what it says, I think. I think it's more of like a gala, but whatever. And pear. Oh, so good. If you have not tried Johnny Appleseed, it's a great performer. It's I've never met anybody who doesn't love it. Um, pina colada cha-cha smells like a pina colada. 
Oh, it's pina colada, like coconut, pineapple. So great. So great. Tangerine dreamsicle, which is just what it says, like vanilla ice cream and tangerine. Now in Zen. So guys, I warmed this. I'll tell you about it when um, in my empties, but now in Zen says sunny grapefruit and calming chamomile. That is not what I smell. Okay, so first of all, this is like powerhouse, taste it strong. Um, it smells salty to me, like a salty grapefruit note. I don't smell calming chamomile. Um, it smells kind of woody to me, more than like um, herbally. Um, it smells like salted grapefruit and some like driftwood note. It's, it's very like aquatic smelling to me. It's very strong, very strong. Um, let's see, I got an Oh Snap Dragon. Oh Snapdragon. I don't smell the Snapdragon kind of floral. It says blood orange, pink pineapple, and Snapdragon. I smell, I smell orange and a deeper orange, so I could go blood orange. And I don't know what pink pineapple is, but it kind of smells citrusy to me, but no floral. Sand swept, I've told you guys a few time, times already, but sand swept smells like salty sea air and rocks. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Um, Magnolia Lennon is like floral laundry. I'm still trying to decide which one I need. Do I need Magnolia Lennon or Windowsill Breeze? Um, I just, I just melted Magnolia Lennon and the floral is definitely more prominent, which I love. So we'll see. Best Berry is the other part of that tree, uh, duo. And this is berry and Orville says it's the best berry. So mad for melon. I also warmed that. I'll tell you in my empties. This is honeydew melon, like cut it off the rind, honeydew melon, like exactly. You can taste it. It's a, it's dupe for fresh honeydew melon. It is not, um, it is not a pretend, you know, candied weird, um, honeydew melon. It is legit like the stuff honeydew melon. Um, I got a satin sheets. This is sandalwood and vanilla. Not really my jam, but I got it for a friend. Bonfire Beach is like toasted marshmallow, flint, um, driftwood. But I'm coming around to this one. Lemon verbena, verbena um, is in the citrus. Lemon zest, lime, and verbena leaf. This one is the closest to pledge that I think we have. I'm not really off put by that, I don't think. So I think I got that one to, to give it a whirl. Ooh, I know I got this one because I've never tried it before. Lilacs and violets. It smells like old lady's house. <laughs> you know, I'm, like, I'm going to try it because that's why I got it. But it smells, when I was little, we used to have in our, like in our little bathroom, um, like the fancy soap that you weren't supposed to use in like little shapes of like flowers and stuff, you know? Um, it was just like little bitty soap and they were, it was the fancy soap and you had like the fancy handheld that you didn't use that. And if you knew my family, if you know my family, it is weird that we had soaps that we weren't allowed to use. Um, but we did have those soaps and then we started using them and they had like um seashell designs and stuff like that but that's what these smell like is like old lady hand soap um so do not buy this until i try it because i don't know what you guys are going to think about this i don't i don't know what i think about it yet but i do know hibiscus pineapple is a love it is so light i mean you have to use it in a small space but because the scent is so beautiful it is worth it to me it is, I think it is more fruity smelling and like sweet fruity. I guess that that's what the hibiscus brings to it is kind of sweet, but the pineapple is very present. And then I feel like there's other notes of like, um, it says hibiscus, pineapple, and mandarin. See, I, I smell pineapple and mandarin first, 
and then just like a sweetness afterwards. I don't know that I pick it out as hibiscus, but maybe it is. My love, strawberry rose. Buy this, you guys. Strawberries, rose petals, sheer musk, uh, whatever they did, like that is my jam. Whoever made that, like me and you can talk. My hero is a guy scent. Oh, y'all. Oh, this is so good. I think this is, I might like this better than sheer leather and I love sheer leather. But this is so good. This is like a cologne, but like a really good, like not old man, not Axe body spray, but just like a really expensive cologne, clean man smell. Oh, I love it. Lush Gardenia, I've never tried that before either. This is Gardenia and Tuberose. It might be too floral for me too. Um, it doesn't smell like old lady though. It just smells like Gardenia with like not enough to, to like tone that down. It might be a little too much for most people. I'm gonna try this, but it is booming powerful. It smells like um, Atlantic Air. To me, I told, I told you guys in my last video, this smells like sea air, but it also smells kind of floral to me. I told myself I was gonna retry this summer holiday. Is Plumeria Tiger Lily Orange Vanilla and Amber. And I think I'm just coming to find like, I don't love amber. I don't love um, sandalwood, but I don't know. Coral Waters, I haven't warmed yet, but it's next on the list. And it smells more floral to me than um, fresh, but we'll see. Whew, making my way through. L French Lavender is very sharp herbal lavender. It smells like a health food store. Another Atlantic Air, make a splash. Um, it's a new release and it is um, Dewey Melon, Green Apple and Turquoise Waters. It's just apple and waters to me to start. We'll see. Another Johnny, another Now and Zen, a Jammy Time. Um, so Jammy Time is really good if you like. This is Baby Freesia, Lavender and Sweet Pea and it's an herbal lavender. I do not get sweet pea. I definitely get freesia. There's something about that one I don't like as much. I like snuggle up better, honestly. So that's the one that went in my club. Another hibiscus pineapple, another pina colada cha-cha, another bonfire beach. Um, just a few more. My hero. Ooh, cloudberry dreams. Ooh, cloudberry dreams is a good one. I'm so glad it's still here. Raspberry, rose, peach, and vanilla. Y'all, it's so good. It's like fruity, fruity rose, um, but like way different than Petal Pals. Way different. It's so not as rosy and way more um, raspberry. And, I, and peach, I guess I can get peach. This is another summer holiday. Okay, iridescent pearl. I don't know why, if you guys are watching my video, why y'all are buying this because it does not have any scent at all, none. I smell nothing. Coastal sunset, mostly coastal, I mean, mostly coconut. And the last one, I they always put this in a weird one, I think, don't they? They put it in like prickly pear and agave. Where do they put this guy? Um, oh yeah, they put it in fruity. It's not fruity. Prickly pear, um, agave, and sheer petals. This is such a weird, awesome scent. It doesn't smell like anything that I've ever smelled before. Like, it is like... Um, so I know what prickly pears smell like. And I'm, I don't... Prickly pears have... So a cactus, like especially those like flat cactuses... Um, have the little fruit like the um, kind of it's um, it's a prickly pear it's um, a red fruit that grows off of it but then they also bloom into flowers okay so I think this is more like the flower part of the prickly pear than the actual fruit part of the prickly pear um, and agave is just a sweetener it's just something it's it's a green tasting sweetener in my mind, but I'm, I'm really excited about this. So, 
And then the last thing I got, I'm not gonna open because it's for a friend, but it is the Gatsby warmer. I am gonna open it. Okay, Mel, I'm sure you're gonna find it. I just wanna look at, at the, I'm not gonna plug it all in and everything. I just wanna look at the glass. Oh, the glass is even better in person, y'all. You gotta get this. <laughs> I gotta get this. Okay, look, it is this but can you see that it's like iridescent it's like it's like blues and greens can does that come up on i think it does on camera it's gorgeous wow that is like a really good one it's a really good class i'm feeling that one it's very 20s like it's very art deco um and i am not traditionally an art deco kind of chick but that color looks so good in the catalog it looks a little green in, in person it looks a little bit more like um beige it looks really kind of nice i'm not I'm, I'm actually not hating it so anyway gatsby um so that is my gigantic start of the season haul i have another box over there um but i'll go through that uh, another day um i'm really excited about that one too because it's got the midnight floral in it but that'll just be a little bitty video. Um, so uh, I don't know any, like I haven't gotten any news about any new stuff coming out. So I'm just like, I mean, I know all this stuff just came out, but the thing about Scentsy is it feels like every month, this is just like what I'm noticing that every month they have a, some kind of like bar release. So like if it's, you know, like, um, a, bundle like they have this um so they have some kind of bundle or some kind of like wax bar release something like that um they have some kind of like celebratory thing in the last few months like they've had the harvest or harvest collection is that what it's called fall collection and the you know summer i mean you know they have the summer collection they have the um holiday collection st you know stuff like that um so they had the valentine's day collection so like they also seem to have like some kind of buddy release um or something you know along those lines i don't know um and so it's like in order to fit all of that stuff in you kind of have to like release something every single week and when we had our they have um they have two like conventions they have world tour that just happened in january and they said that there was going to be 70 releases 70 different releases this year and that did not count anything that happened in january well, i mean if they're gonna have 70 different releases and there's 52 weeks in a year like you're gonna have to bang some stuff out sensi like you're gonna have to have something every week so the fact that nothing was released for next week i was like mm. but um i do know that there's a couple buddies coming out i've shown you guys i talked to you guys about that um and i know there's something about bring back my bar from december like they're gonna have a pack so i'm Hoping that stuff comes out soon. And when it does, I'll let you know. Talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.